Karthik Arulsa. I am 18. Ajay Pag. 19. Aditya Grover. 18. Rajbir Singh. I'm 21 years old. My name is Anoop Kainar. And my age is 21. Po Pangra. Rangli Jawani. Po Pangra slash Rangli Jawani. Po Pangra and Rangli Jawani. I'm on Rangli Jawani as well as Po Pangra. It's an expression of my culture, where I come from, my roots. To me, it's my whole culture. Because the songs represent our life in, like, overseas, as well as our life in India. Um, it represents who we are as a people, because without your culture, you're nobody, you know? So, I mean, like, it pretty much, it's about our history, our culture, our like folk stories, legends, everything. It's like who we are as a people. Like, that's what Bhangra is to me. Um, I guess an easy definition is just Bhangra is kind of a cultural dance with Punjab. Um, a more lengthened definition is um, it's, it's a dance used to celebrate the harvest, you know. Um, in India, when the harvest would come, everyone would get happy and stuff, you know. There's people that would pick up their instruments and, and start playing, and then to that rhythm, there is, you know, well, the main aspect of Bunga is a, based on a dull beat. That's a drum, a drum beat. And then to that, you know, people would do certain moves, do certain sets that, you know, like kind of correlated with the beat and, and the story of the heart of it, or, you know, like songs and stuff. And uh, a lot of Punjabi dances are really um, lighthearted and fun. And um, that's what Bunga is, you know, it's just like, you're always, it's just very lighthearted and fun. And, and it's used as a celebration, you know, you do it at weddings, you do it at parties, birthday parties, it's just a celebration of, of everything, really, you know, um, and um, imagine just a group of people, you know, like someone's chilling out playing drums, someone's singing, uh, you know, and there's just people dancing, like, that, that's really what it is, just, you know, you have old ladies on the side clapping their hands, and you know, one guy, like, singing loudly, couple guys you know, with sticks, you know, like dancing around, and it's just fun stuff. Traditional teams are nice just because that's what it really is. Like if you take like a salsa team or whatever, you know, they're not going to modify it for America or anything, you know, they're going to still do what salsa is. A traditional team, they're going to do what Bangra is. A modern team is nice because it's, you know, more entertainment, it's like a fusion, you know, it's still keeping to the roots for like essentially what it is, but traditional teams always good. I personally favor traditional teams. I favor traditional and I think it's a lot more harder. Um, the reason being, um, traditional steps are, are set in stone. There's certain things that you have to do when you do traditional bunga, you know? Um, modern bunga you, you can pretty much make up and do whatever you want. Choreography is hard either side. You know, modern or traditional, you, you have to learn, you have to practice, you have to do whatever. But modern, you can make up whatever you want and really do whatever you like. So if you like this move, you can move it, change it around, do whatever you want with it. Traditional, if you want to be recognized and respected, you have to do what has been done for, for centuries. You can't change that. And I'm on the, on, on the traditional side, it's even harder because you're doing it to live music. A live team is a hardcore traditional team. They um. There's eight performers, um, you know, eight dancers, and then there is um, a band. The band consists of a singer, a doll player, um, a goja player. Um, sometimes they have a dumbi player, you know, and a chimta player. And those are instruments, um, all those, and you know, they're all working as one unit: the band and the team. Modern uh, teams just have a CD recorded, you know, we play it, speakers, whatever they're dancing, but. Traditional teams, you have that that band has to be in sync with the dancers, and the dancers have to be in sync with the band. You know, on top of being in sync with each other within those, you know, so it's it's pretty difficult. Traditional Pangra itself, like, it originated in the like, Punjab itself. So whoever comes from Punjab, they know what traditional Pangra is. So they know like how it's done, like how they can modify more moves, like, dance, choreographer, you know. Like everything matters. I favor traditional Bhangra, but modern and traditional, it depends on what people like. I try to go more traditional, 
That's why the only Bangla I usually watch or listen to is back from Punjab, India, straight up, you know. Their college team their college teams are really intense because the competition there, the Bangla originated there, so the competitions there are much harder than competition can ever be in North America.